Hi there, I'm Morten from Playful Synapse. In this tutorial I will show you how one player can control two characters at once in the same game. I have just started a new project from the third person template, so it should be easy for you to recreate what I show you here. First we go under the Blueprints folder. We select uh, my character this just dock it up here and first of all I'm going to uh, remove all the controls here see like like that and then I'm going to the dip to the components and I'm going to uh, remove the follow camera like that compile and save the reason I deleted the camera was because we are going to control two characters now and it's much simpler if we have an external camera that's not directly connected to one of the characters. And I also deleted the controls from the player blueprint because I'm adding new controls for both characters a bit later in the tutorial and it's much easier to have all the controls in one place. Now we duplicate the character that character 2 is okay save it selected that's good and we are going to add a camera to the scene like that let's just uh, scroll a bit up here like this it's, it's okay the camera back a bit uh, up like that and let's point it slightly down that should be okay with the camera selected we select the open level blueprint and we find the begin event event begin play we add a reference to our camera. We get the player controller. Player controller. And we search for the function called set target with blend. View target with blend. Like this. And the target should of course be our new camera. So let's compile it click play this is indeed the view from our new camera but as you can see the the controls doesn't work yet because we just deleted all the controls so that should come as no surprise for us we now open the project settings it's under edit and project settings stock it under input there is now the axis mappings and here you can see the, the mappings that's made for us from the third person template and we just need to add two more let's call the one uh, first one move forward to quite uh, imaginative uh, this one and if we look at the, the first one here the move forward we see that they have this gamepad left Y button. So for the second character, I'm going to just add the, the gamepad and the, the right Y, like that. So this will be the, the, the right controller in the Y direction that's up and down. And let's add one more, like this. This will then be called uh, move uh, right. move right to like that and also if we see under the previous move right uh, function it says gamepad left X so for the second character we will use the gamepad right X there we go so this should be the, the axis mappings for our second character 
and I almost forgot one thing. For some reason, the gamepad right in the y direction is inverted. So we have to punch in minus one for the scale in order to like for the character to behave the way we expect him to behave. Now let's add the two controllers we are going to use. To do this, we double click on the My Game blueprint, like that. And under the Player Controller class, we have this Player Controller that's uh, part of the default setup, but we're going to add the two of our own. Let's click the plus button, New Player Controller. Let's just uh, write in My Player Controller instead. Okay that. You can see we have it here. Just save it. And let's duplicate this one. So it will be called My Player Controller 2. That's uh, quite okay. And let's open up the My Player Controller. In this My Player Controller, that controls the first character. Uh, we will first now add uh, two variables, and these variables will be the, the second controller and the second character. So it's quite useful to have those as variables. So if you just uh, search for it, my character two, and let's call it. Uh, character 2, like that. And we add one more. This time we will add the second controller. My player controller 2. And let's call it controller 2, like that. Now we are going to spawn the second controller and the second character. So first of all, we just search for the begin event. Begin event play, because this is going to be done just as the game starts. And we search for the function called spawn actor. Actor from class, like that. The class we're going to use is first of all the my player controller. Just spawn the controller first. And we see that this controller it needs a transform. So we just add tra the transform. Let's see here now the make transform should be there, yes. And the, the location we are going to spawn this in is minus 900 for the x, 900 for the y, and uh, 230 in the z direction. That's just to put the character in the quite to the right of the first uh, character, like that. And the return value for this one should be put in the controller 2. So we set it as controller 2, like that. And then we spawn the second uh, the second character. Spawn actor from class once more. This time we of course select the the my character two like that. That's the class we're going to use. It should be put in the same place, so we use the same transform. This time it's the character two that we should set like that. And now we just need to possess it. So let's just uh, get the controller two, like this, and search for possess, like that. And this one, and it's the character two that we should possess. So now we have, oops, not cross the wires here like that this should work we should now spawn the second character 
and um, so let's just compile and see if it actually works. Play. And here we go. Here we have the second character. We haven't set up any uh, controls for it yet, but at least it's spawned. So now all we really need to do is to set up the controls for these two characters. That was the end of part uh, one. And in part two, I will show you how to actually add the controls to the characters so that we can move them around. Thank you for watching.